Greetings everyone and welcome to my channel Lore of the World. Today we are going to talk about little living legend but most of all Fi deck for living legend. Format is currently it's getting better and better I would say. It's a ton of fun and you get to play cards that you cannot play anymore. More the game goes on living legend probably will gather players so format is fun. I really recommend you try it out. But let's get right into the Fi video. So in Living Legend, Fi is currently a combo deck, I would say. So because there's tabby hammers that can be used, that helps that a lot. Pretty self-explanatory as, as we are playing combo, the Mask of the Bouncing Lynx is great. Because you are just doing few very big turns and then just force the opponent to block and die. That is the game plan. Uh, Bellitless are great because there's ice cards in the meta, so you will really really need these and they are still great cards in other matchups too also, but against ice it does a lot lot of things. We are st still keeping the uh, skipping the head chaps like in the other deck tech videos because they are just poorly for damage. Uh, blue brands, you might want to maybe take blue rising resentments, maybe there is a lot of ice, but either way, brands or rising resentments are great. Command and Conquer are great against aggro mirrors in living legend format. There's no way I think nothing can beat Command and Conquer in that part. Maybe the weakest link, but it's not as great as Command and Conquer is in this deck. Enlightened and Strike, great against like assassins and guardians and ice generally because you can just put seven against the opponent usually that's the way, way enlightened strike is played but you can also like drive a card and snap back on it flame call awakenings and phoenix flames they are poorly against fatigue the old him matchup goes something like that first old him tries to strike you and then when he cannot strike you anymore more and you are, have the upper hand and he has to block he is going to try to fatigue you, then you will need the two Phoenix Flame combo, like use uh, Fice ability on the opponent's turn, and then on your turn you will just put like something like Brand, then Searing Ember Blade, and then just Phoenix Flame, Phoenix Flame, and you probably want to have Shuko in that matchup, so, so that it will do, do nine, nine damage and the two is unpreventable. And you will only lose one card there, so that's that's pr pretty nice. But I'm not sure if not sure if if to Stubi is legal, so maybe you can just kill ult him with this combo, and you don't need that. But I'm, I haven't tested out, out that much, but I deal ult him with that way that I told you the antiphatic strategy. Oh, lava burst damage and headshot. Mounting anger is better in this deck than the soaring, because you have already go against so much, so much more than in Kodachi version. You can check my Kodachi classic constructed deck and see I'm using soaring in that that deck, and it it's pulled a little or a little or much differently. Uh, Rise from the ashes, great against fatigue decks, cause uh, something like old him, cause it's hard harder for him to block if I buff my attacks. So that's why so that's why the rise from the ashes is in the deck. I don't know if the plunder rune would be play better, but this you can play instantly, and this is like better against old him. So that's why rise from the ashes is in the deck and not plunder rune. I like to keep the minimum of non-attack actions. I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I will always draw, almost always draw attack from my draws and. That, that is a great thing to have, so you will probably know that there will be always damage when you draw a card. Headchap, headchap, oh, but Rising Resentment has some use in this. Even again, because there is ice, and first, first the Frostbite makes one thing costs more, but if you put this, this makes them cost one less, so you sometimes abuse this ability, so that's, that's why Rising Resentment is great, and maybe the brand Brand should be also the blue rising resentments because of that, and that's head up. That says I always put reds and blues because they are the best on hit on the game, and they are really nasty with stupid hammers and art of war turns. So breathing flames because this is combo deck. You are just making wide turns, and there is probably going to be 
Dragonic mixed, mixed in them, so that's why Phoenix Flame and Flame Call Awakening are still a great thing to have in the mind deck. Art of Wars, the core, core card of Fi, so use this. Never take them away <laughs> until there comes better than Art of War. Halt the wound, damage, two minovisms. Uh, sometimes you need redundancy to block block with it or something like that. Crowded locals, best <laughs> best five blue currently there is. Pretty self-explanatory. This is much better in the Korachi version, but still it's like it does two or one damage. If the opponent blocks it, it does one. If it doesn't, it does two. So <laughs> blue zero cost three blocks. Reinforce the lines and sink belows against assassins and guardians, because play them differently. They're not like faces the place matchups. They are Power grinds, energy potion. There is ice things like Lexi and Uslander. Mostly Uslander. I think this is for the Uslander mostly, because <laughs> it's just so nasty thing to put this against her. her. They cannot combo you out earlier than possible, so that's why that. And yeah, that you can only have one war monger, but you should put mask of momentum here, because there is still draw ice out there. So Mask of Momentum helps draw my matchup quite a lot. I will change it too. Because I think that's the only matchup you are going to use Mask of Momentum. Maybe maybe against Bravo. Not sure. You don't have Kodachi, so maybe put it in a Bravo and draw my if if you see Bravo in 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 classic constructed. The Star Voice also <laughs> it's it's a nasty deck. I, I have no idea how the Uslander is just so strong. People just doesn't know how strong it is. It, it needs a great palette to be strong, but it is one of the deck in the format, probably. So I have lots of sideboard against her. <laughs> Five cards in my 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 deck. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, put thumbs up, and if you have comments or questions about this deck, put them down below. I will gladly answer them. And if you want to support me, subscribe my channel and go follow my Instagram. There is lots of art there. And I hope you have, will have pleasant days. So, bye.